Okay, let me take a minute to show off my hanging ab straps that I made by myself. I got the straps from strapworks.com. Also the buckle. Major part of the hanging ab straps. Without any of these buckles, I wouldn't have been able to put anything together early. I mean, I made the... I sewed everything together and stuff, but I wouldn't have really been able to hang it up anywhere without those buckles. And these buckles will definitely handle body weight. They'll handle a few body weights. And that's just one. So two of them will be sufficient. And uh, all, all the sewing is strong enough. I've tested this many times. I sewed it strong enough to allow me to hang from this to do my abs. My, my ha hanging leg raises. But... I, s I sewed this loop for this buckle here, it's tightly on, and then this reinforcement strap to go across it, and then that allows, as you can see, the, the weight to the buckles enough to pull it down. You just balance it a little bit. It's kind of how it would hang, too, when I prop it up on a bar. And this is a limited unit. It can't hang everywhere. Uh, monkey bars are pretty much ideal. If you have a higher bar, you could use a chair or something to prop yourself up on. And, and that's what I've been doing at the, the fairgrounds that I use this at. I only have this hanging on a TV stand. But... You could do this a lot of places, but these, as you can see, they're pretty long, maybe two and a half feet, three feet. They uh, can hang too low and cause your feet to touch the ground or even lower, which just makes it too hard to do hanging um, leg raises. And you really need an ideal height for your bar. Monkey bars are at it. I mean, even uh, for systems such as the TRX or you know, your general hanging, your suspension trainers, there's an ideal height. I think the TRX is between 7 and 9 feet. And this, well, monkey bar height, what is that, 7 feet? And then a little higher. Eight feet. I looked on the internet and to see what the all was available for hanging ab straps. I didn't exactly want to buy my own, so I looked at all the different designs and I found that this particular design would be the best to follow, the best to make, just for the mobility and and the yeah w w how I can just to be able to hang it in more places it's not it's not stuck this this can come undone completely if I had both hands I'd be able to do it it's just it's just a, a loose end so I can hang this up pretty quick use this use this heavy end let me try to take it off here Take this end, throw it over, and then hook them up, and you're good to go. So that's that's uh, it. Yeah, you can see the sewing there. You want to really, really enforce it. I sewed it with a speedy stitcher by hand, and just have to put in a lot of stitches. The strong thread they have is. Uh, holds 12 pounds per stitch so each little stitch in here is 12 pounds I put a lot of them this is a one and a half inch thickness maybe two feet in length um, can't say if I, if I were to make another whether I would shorten it or lengthen it because I've been pretty happy with it this is the widest strap that 
strap work cells, four inches in width, only in black. And it's very comfortable on the elbows. You can put a cushion. I actually have a cushion that I use sometimes, but for mobility I don't. And it doesn't really hurt. It's four inches in width, so that's going to cover a good portion of your elbows, the back of your upper arm. You can hang on it pretty comfortably. I've been debating on trying some variations with this. You could do pull-ups with these ab straps if the bar is too high. You just kind of hang on to them, swing a little bit. There's there's some slight variations you could use these for, but mostly they're for hanging abs, ab work. And I'm starting to kind of build my abs. Um, they're not show quality. I'm not really dieting, but it's tight. My hip hurt for a little bit. I made these, and that's resolved. Also a little bit of the pouch in the belly. Doing the hanging leg raises helps a lot. So if you're in the market for making your own, you could go to strapworks.com and get the straps necessary. So yeah, I said this is a one and a half inch. This is a one and a half inch buckle. Uh, yeah, just documenting it. Thanks for watching.